Lizzie just found something really cool from our own chickens. I have been looking for this truck since I was 14 years old. I had to have it. And I'm literally getting my, my baby next week. <laughs> this is the part where it could get crazy. See if we can make this happen without wrecking anything. Quick story. <laughs> my mom used to work at an eggplant, which was a chicken farm that uh, was there just to produce eggs, massive amounts of eggs. And her one job, one of her jobs was to candle the eggs. It's called candling them. So they roll across a belt, a conveyor belt, after coming out of the chicken, they go across the conveyor belt, and then they go into this little room. It's this dark room that has a light, a, ta a table that's lit up from underneath and it lights enough through the eggs so you can see what's inside of them. So she would come home with all of the eggs that weren't normal. The ones that were like the jumbos is what we called them, double jumbos, which are like, they had like a weird thing on them. The, the mini ones, the, the small, small ones, um, double yolk. Anyway, Lizzie just found something really cool from our own chickens. My second time. And it's happened your second time. Have you seen it yet? Check it out. A double yolk. Oh, look how tiny. It would have been twins. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? That is cool. That's so tiny. That was in one egg. That's awesome. That's so fun when when it's double oak. Double oak. Double <laughs> oak. <laughs> I have been looking for this truck since I was 14 years old, and this is my first time looking at it after actually getting it. I had Gene run out to Nevada and grab it for me, and this is the very first time, like I said, of me actually seeing it. I had to have it, um, I had to get it. It's a short bed, 1947 International, and I have been looking for this, this truck, this very truck, not this very truck, but one just like this, since I was 14. That is sweet. <laughs> Good, get it loose first. We've got two tires here that need to be changed out. Hey, I don't think this uh, this this hub has seen the light of day for 30 years. <laughs> no. It's actually in really good shape. Beautiful. We were at the shop today, um, and we need to fill up the tires on uh, some of these vehicles. And we realized we don't have a compressor at the at the shop, so we're looking at compressors here, like something like that, maybe. And I had Cody and Caleb with me, and I don't know where they went. I lost them in the store somewhere. Three guys in Lowe's, probably not a good idea. Everybody's looking at their own things that they think they need. How was school? It was great. It was really fun. I am practically done with both my songs, which I finally put my choir concert in the calendar. Oh, good. I did see that today. So, Nice. That's good. I put it in the calendar. And then sewing, we all are redoing our scrunchies because pretty much everybody failed. Oh, nice. <laughs> because I don't know why, but yeah. And then um, child development, we just started an assignment on there and there. Some people have their babies, and I'm literally getting my baby next week. <laughs> wow. Crazy. You're going to have a baby gonna next week. going to have a week. baby. Crazy. But yeah, good day. Mom just tricked me. She like pulled up to Brian's and Mars house. She's like, wait, we don't live here anymore. I was like, are we picking up Neymar or something? And I looked back and literally Neymar is in here. I didn't even know he was in here. He's asleep, so he's super quiet. <laughs> is that for real? Yeah, that's the that's loud of the game. We can actually have a conversation with it on. No, crazy. Is that for real? Yeah, it is. So we have, uh, Branson has worked, actually Caleb did this, didn't he? Yeah. They offset this hub on this motorcycle, so it goes up and down like a horse does, because it's a horse. But we gotta pump that tire up. Yeah, <laughs> Hey, it's pumped up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. 
No. <laughs> no. Bro. Bro. <laughs> what happened? None of them busted though. Wait, you put them on, you put them on that center shelf? Wait, what happened to the shelf? It's busted. Oh, you were trying to sneak one, wasn't you? You booby trapped it. <laughs> Nobody can touch my monsters. Oh, you should see it in video, Stubbs. It's horrible, isn't it? Oh, that white line right there. So Cody painted the whole entire office right here. Looked phenomenal, painted all white. We got over here to this wall and I was like, so what about that? And he's like, oh, that'll dry. It'll blend in. <laughs> What's well, dry, but it didn't blend in. <laughs> so we're gonna take a whiteboard and cover it up. Like no one ever knew it happened except for you. Everyone's gonna know what happened now. <laughs> Got a whiteboard, we're official. All right, all right, all right, all right, we got tires. Woo. Oh, Don't you tell next me. time I see you, you'll be on the car, truck to truck. Okay, we didn't make it very far because Caleb and I are gonna go see Annabelle open her mission call. Let's just take my truck, we don't want to miss it, it starts at seven. So, my niece got her mission call and she is opening it. Opening it today like right now at the temple we're just trying to find where they're at um, she has been volunteering and so they decided that this was the place that they wanted that she wanted to open her mission call we're just trying to find the northeast and you know what I'm really bad at directions in this town so we might be in the wrong place the cool thing is is like the temple open house is going on right now and so there are so many people here just coming to see the temple, but now we're to mission call opening. You are hereby called to serve as a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You are assigned to labor in the Texas Austin mission and will prepare Woo! to preach the gospel in the Spanish language. <laughs> There it is. She's beautiful. Okay, one of the things that I really like about this truck is that they went and painted this green over top of this purplish color, which is over top of like a gray color and a white color, which is over top of like a yellow color in some spots. It's got some rust coming through, yellow color here, which is interesting because that was the original color, this yellow. I shouldn't say original, but this was the color this yellow color was what my international that I gave to Branson was. Uh, my dad painted it back in like the late 80s, uh, maybe mid 80s. Um, anyway, this dent may actually stay here. It's a pretty big dent. It's pretty big. But one of the interesting things about these tires is once we got them on there now, I kind of like them. And I feel like before I was going to maybe take and put more of like a hot rod wheel and tire on it, but I actually might not do it. I really like the look of this. And so what I might do is actually put like just a hub, hub cap on there, which there's some inside. And uh, anybody who loves vehicles and loves old trucks and cars, you're really appreciating this right now. This is something, um, this is so much fun to see this right here. Anyway, we gotta get it off of there. Stubbs has been working on it since we've been gone. Um, and then here's Rambo. Look at the tire on that beast. This is the part where it could get crazy. Stubbsy, because then Rambo is connected up to International. He's gonna back the Rambo up with International connected, see if we can make this happen without wrecking anything. Because there's no brakes or anything on that thing. Let's see if we can push the International in here. Sweet. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, next to that yellow bus, it looks so good. Okay, Lizzie was so excited because part of our Halloween costumes came, but none of it was hers, sadly. But part of it was mine, so here's my shirt. It's literally like the middle of September, and my Halloween costumes are right here, but here's a shirt. 
And here's headphones, and here's the headphone jacks, which I only need one. Oh yeah, I'm being maxed with Stranger Things. I don't know if I already told you guys that. Okay, let's put things on. Mm -hmm. Wow, these are really cheap headphones. I can literally, these are not noise canceling at all. It's fine. It works. Sweet, let's go watch. So Danielle is having a book launch party on Saturday. And so that's why we've been doing all of these things is to get ready for that. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I mean, look at this dragon head she made. They're spraying the other dragon head. It's pretty awesome. Danielle's book, Sold One, is available now for purchase. Long ago, life was the first goddess. She created the world and chose nine mortal souls to be reborn forever. These were powerful souls. They fought battles and they won wars and they saved nations. They became known as the Soul Ones. What does this have to do with us? Everything. Now that you have your power, things will start hunting you. Things you never thought existed. I know of an old relic, a sword. It may have the power to hide and protect you. You're gonna need to take these with you. What are we supposed to do with these? Just try not to die. What exactly is coming after us? The God of Chaos himself. Father won't rest until he finds us. Then let's go get that sword. We showed you the trailer for Danielle's book, and it is awesome. Her book is awesome, the trailer's awesome, she's awesome. Go check it out, there's a link in the description below. You can get Danielle's book, Sold Ones, and let us know what you think about it. So our niece is going to Austin, Texas on her mission, Spanish speaking. She will be leaving soon, and she will be an awesome missionary. She said that she didn't feel like she was going out of the country, but she hoped that she would be Spanish speaking. And she is, so it's awesome. She's the most positive person I've ever met. She is. She is the happiest. I think her and Aspen probably tie for the happiest positive people in the world. Right. <laughs> we love you guys. And as always, you, you are, are worth, worth it. it. Bye.